Algebraic expressions are terms that include numbers, ladders, and or powers. Technically, numbers like 5 or negative 3 are considered algebraic expressions. Here are some examples. Letters are the variable part of the expression. A variable is called so because it can hold different values. A number that appears before the variable is called a coefficient. When a variable does not have a number before it, it's understood as 1. Also, variables without a power showing on top have a power of 1. Expressions can include operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and or division. Expressions are categorized based on how many terms they have. Terms are separated by either a plus or minus signs. So this expression has two terms. This one has three terms. An expression with one term is called a monomial. If it has two, it's a binomial. If three, trinomial. And if more, a polynomial. It's not uncommon to call an expression with three or more terms a polynomial. Before adding or subtracting expressions, check if all terms are like terms. Terms are like if they have the same exact variable or variables. In this problem, the two terms are like because each has an x as their variable. In this case, simply combine the coefficients of the like terms by addition or subtraction. In this problem, the coefficients are added. 5 and negative 8 is negative 3. Write out the answer as negative 3x. Note that the variables were not added. When adding or subtracting like terms, one occurrence of the common variable is brought to the final answer. Let's do another example. Subtract negative 13y cubed minus 10y cubed. Again, both terms are like. So go ahead and subtract negative 13 minus 10, which is negative 23, then bring in the y cubed. Subtract 6z to power 4 minus z. The two terms are unlike because the variables are not identical. In this case, subtraction cannot be performed. Add negative 9xy squared plus 2y squared. Again, the variable parts of the two terms are not identical. Therefore, no addition is possible. Add negative xz to the fifth and 4z to the fifth x. Due to the commutative property of multiplication, xz to the fifth and z to the fifth x are considered identical because products are not affected if multiplicants and multipliers are swapped. In this case, add the negative 1 and 4, which is 3. The final answer is 3xz to the fifth or 3z to the fifth x. To add or subtract more than two monomials, or in other words, simplify polynomials, same rules apply as before. The one extra step that may help beginners to add and subtract correctly is to rearrange the given polynomial to group like terms together, and therefore the process becomes a bit easier. Let's do that together. Bring down the first term, 6x squared, then look if there are any like terms. 9x squared is a like term. Write it right after 6x squared. Be careful, any sign showing before a term belongs to that term. So when moving 9x squared, the minus sign must be moved with a 2. It's a good habit to lightly cross out move terms, so checking the remaining terms becomes easier. Bring down minus 15x and plus 5x. Bring down minus 7y. 
No like terms is found for this one, so move on and bring down plus 20 and minus 4. Now start from the left and combine each group. 6 minus 9 is negative 3. Keep the variable as is, so it's negative 3x squared. Next, add negative 15x and 5x. It's negative 10x. Bring down minus 7 as is. Finally, subtract 20 minus 4, which is 16. The final answer is negative 3x squared minus 10x minus 7y plus 16. Conventionally, terms are arranged from largest power to the smallest power. However, order does not affect the final simplified answer as long as operations are performed correctly. Let's simplify another polynomial. First, rearrange terms to have like terms grouped together. There are two terms for w cubed, one term for w squared, one term for xw, two terms for x, and one constant. Subtract the first two like terms. It's negative 8w cubed. Bring down w squared and 2xw as is, since they do not belong to any groups. Subtract negative 2x minus 6x, that's negative 8x. Finally, bring down 10 as is. The simplified form of the original polynomial is negative 8w cubed plus w squared plus 2xw minus 8x minus 10. To add two polynomials, simply cross out the two sets of parentheses and rewrite the given polynomial. Next, rearrange the monomials into like groups as before. Start from the left. Simplify the first group. It's 3x squared. Combine the second group. It's 7x. Finally, subtract 17 minus 20. It's negative 3. The simplified polynomial is 3x squared plus 7x minus 3. To subtract two polynomials, start by rewriting the first polynomial as is, just without its parentheses. When it comes to the second polynomial, it's important to realize that the entire second polynomial is multiplied times negative 1. So, in order for the polynomial to break free out of its parentheses, negative 1 must be distributed using multiplication over each and every term of the second polynomial. Let's begin. Negative 1 times negative 30y squared is positive 30y squared. Negative 1 times negative 13x squared is positive 13x squared. And negative 1 times positive 5 is negative 5. Note what just have happened to the signs. They flipped. Any negatives turn to positives, and any positives turn to negatives. Before moving forward, you may ask why no such step is performed when adding two polynomials. So let's backtrack for one moment. On the previous problem, the second polynomial was multiplied times positive 1, distributing positive 1 over each term of that polynomial does not have any effect on the sign or the value of coefficients. Therefore, scratching out all parentheses was legitimate. Let's continue on. Now group like terms, combine like terms in the first two groups, and bring down the rest as is. The final answer is 71y squared plus 18x squared minus 2y minus 5. Here is another subtraction problem. Write out the first polynomial as is without the parentheses. 
now distribute negative 1 over all four terms of the second polynomial. Negative 5x squared becomes positive, positive 10x becomes negative, positive 7y becomes negative, and negative 9 becomes positive 9. Rearrange the individual monomials. Negative 5x squared plus its opposite is 0. Bring down 3xy. Combine the y variables, it's negative 2y. Bring down negative 10x as is. Add negative 2 plus 9, it's 7.